Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if any of you done the mistake I did when I got my printer, instead of putting sublimation ink in it, I put the regular ink in it. By accident, didn't rewrite. But anyways, uh, if you want to take it out real simple, I'm going to show you a simpler way. You can just unscrew the two screws here because this automatically open. Take a pen and stick it in this slot. So you depend on where to hold it up, prop it up for you nicely. And then when you're taking it out, this is the easy part I'm going to show you. These right here is the tanks. Okay, you have to pull these out to clear them out. And you want them all the way clear. Now, you want these to get all empty. And you want to dispose of it right in a bottle, a water bottle. You can just throw it out. But I'm going to show you a fast way to get all this going. Okay, once you unpop this out of here, you take this and you just wiggle it out. From the top, you be careful because you don't, you don't want to break it or pop it. Once you get that out, like this, that's why you have napkins and stuff around in case it leaks. Sometimes it will, sometimes it don't. It all depends. Okay, now, with this part, I like to use this syringe. You can get one bigger, but it's the nozzle that fits perfect on here. Now, what you're doing is you wanting to clear out all of this in here. You want that to be empty. And this helps. All you do is it can hook. It presses right up on there. You want to hold it upright with your hand away from that hose and pull it down. And you see that ink come out? It'll come right out for you. Squirt it in there. And you want to make sure. I always do another. But you want to make sure you get all of this ink out right here. See how it's taking it all out of here? You want all of that ink out. That cartridge is almost empty. And you just want to keep going. You get all this ink out of here. This is the fastest way I'm showing you. Don't tilt it. None of that. I did all that. I'm telling you. Hold it upright and just pull. And you'll get all of it. It don't matter if you have a little left because you're going to run it, run it, run it anyway. So you go get most of that out. Now to this part. How I got this part to work for me is I got this. Now this I got from a fix-a-flat can, the little thing part. But I like it because it fits in this hole perfectly. So this, which comes with the sublimation kit, attaches to this perfectly. So you see your object is to get all of that ink out. So when you pull on this, you can open this and see how all that ink comes out for you. And like I said, if you find another faster way, to me, I looked at everybody else online. They showed day ways and whatever else. Well, I'm somebody like it a little simpler, and this is simpler. I was able to convert this in less than 20 minutes. It took me by me showing you how to do it this way simply. And that's why you want that there where you can be more careful. And you just keep going. Till this tank, as you see, is empty. See, watch it. You just keep pulling and pulling and pulling. Till that tank is empty. Same thing. Empty. Put it on here and you pull. The fuller the, um, your thing was, the more you have to work it. But nevertheless, you pull it all out. Because it'll let you know when it's empty. It'll make noises and stuff. <laughs> like that. See, it's letting you know it's getting empty. Because I'm going to show you. See how it sounds?
See, let me show you. See how it's empty? And you just want to make sure. So we're going to pull it again. You just want to make sure we got as much out of there as possible. Because you're going to convert this, like I said. Doesn't matter if you got a little in there. Some people say buy solution, run it, all that dope. I wouldn't. That's just me. I would do it this way. That way you can be done with it. You know, and that's that. What I do with my pen. Right here. One more time, it just came out. Stick it back in. I can pull just a little more. Nope, see nothing's in there. So that now you take this black cartridge that's empty and you reattach it. Same way you found it, all the way at the top. And you take it and you put it back in the slot. And that's that. Now you're ready to start to put your other sublimation ink in here and do your thing. Everything's empty, everything's clean, ready to go and run it.